Announcing the commencement of the first purge. Tonight allows people a release for all the hatred and violence that they keep up inside them. This won't bring him back. It won't make you feel any better. Thank you. It is a night that is defining our country. Citizens, this will be a tradition we celebrate every year. Join the first purge. Isaiah, come say bye. Go do your thing, sis. Always. I'll see you tonight. People are now calling this controversial experiment of legalized crime the purge. Do not purge! Do not purge! You and Isaiah, just stay with me doing the purge. Oh, we're gonna be fine on our own. We are here with Dr. May Updale. She came up with this experiment. Is the purge a political device? It is a psychological one. If we want to save our country, we must release all our anger in one night. Tonight, we'll see the good and evil in everyone. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the first purge. Our neighborhood is under siege from a government who doesn't give a shit about any of us. At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. There's a lot of good people out there who we're going to have to protect. All emergency services will be suspended. We got to be prepared for anything. Your government thanks you for your participation. Parties, you predicted a much higher level of participation. Human nature does not obey the laws of politics. What the hell is going on? ex-military. Something funky going down, D. You're sending soldiers into the island disguised as citizens. This country needs for this to work. No one's coming to help us. After tonight, nothing will ever be the same again. They forgot about one thing. They forgot about us. What have I done? Run! Stay strong, I. I'm coming. Just remember all the good the purge does. Whoa, now, Jack. This your cool uncle. This the big dog. This your big brother. Now I'm just playing with y'all, man. This is a little humble servant. Uh, Ariel Ma from New Orleans. And you know I got to give double honors to... The elders, the apostles, the prophets, the leaders, the teachers, the preachers, uh, the elect. I'm talking about the helpers, the men of great millstone for teaching us the truth of this Bible and being excellent examples for us. Now, I know that there's the fourth and you got your charcoal, you got your wood chips, you got uh, your burgers, you got your hot dogs and chicken ribs pork chop salmon shish kebab whatever you got man i know you about to throw that shit on the grill today you about to throw down barbecue baked beans niggas about to throw down today you got your natural ice coronas you got a uh, hennessy you know whatever you like to drink got your ciroc you know daiquiris you got your uh roman candles and sparklers for the children and and uh, you're going to see the fireworks show tonight. You're going to have a blast today, right? And uh, But um, let's talk about a little something else, though. Let's talk about this movie that's going to be releasing today. Talking about The Purge. Now, this ain't just a movie, bro. This is going to be real-life reality. Where it will be curfews, checkpoints, uh, race wars, class riots. People walking around these streets with ARs and and uh, and, and and Tech Nines and Uzis and you know and uh, Yop sticks. Yes, it's gonna be a lot of death out here. This is re this is gonna be a reality, man. And unlike the movie, it ain't gonna be no twelve hours. It's gonna be twenty four hours of the day. A lot of heads gonna roll. A lot of blood gonna get shed here, man. Just letting you know. Now let's filter this thing through the Bible. We're going to the book of 2nd Ezra 15 and verse 15. It says, For the sword and the destruction draw it not, meaning this thing is on its way. And one people shall stand up to fight against another race war. 
class war. That's right. And swords in their hand. We know what the modern day sword is. You seen the movie uh, Romeo and Juliet? What was the sword in that movie? Guns, man. For there should be sedition among men. And we know what sedition is. Race wars. You know, uh, class wars. Uh, civil unrest. That's what sedition is. Civil unrest. Okay? And invading one another. They shall, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That's what time we're in, man. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. So how much more so are women and children? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. It will be a purge. A lot of you niggas going to die. Yeah, and you're going to die in this purge because you're a bunch of hoes, lesbians, dykes that don't listen to your man, who don't respect authority, that don't read and study this Bible, and you don't believe in the Lord. And you niggas are a bunch of pedophiles, junkies, drug dealers, uh, pieces of shit who speak against the elders, speak against the men of Great Millstone. You don't give two shits about the Bible. And guess what? Real soon, the Lord ain't gonna give two shits about you, and you're gonna get caught up in this damn purge, you bitch. Now, this is the book of Jeremiah 30 and verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. And you niggas are Jacob. I'm talking about you hard-headed, peasy-headed, uh, Tampico drinking so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. You are the children of Jacob, the Israelites. But he shall be saved out of it. I'm talk That's talking about the elect, the remnant. Not all you niggas, because the bulk of you niggas got to die. You're going to die right up in this purge. That's where you're going to die at. Laid out in that damn purge, you bitch. So with that, I say uh, honor and praise to the God of the Bible, whose name is Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew, and his son who the world called Jesus Christ, who we know in the ancient Hebrew as Yahweh Shah. Shalom, clowns.